Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about related rates. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. A 7 foot tall person is walking away from a 20 foot tall lamppost at a rate of 5 feet per second. Assume the scenario can be modeled with right triangles. At what rate is the length of the person's shadow changing when the person is 16 feet from the lamppost? Oof, that's a lot of stuff. Let's go get a visual here. So we have a lamppost, all right, that's 20 feet tall. And it should be a right triangle, it's not really straight, but it's all good. Now a person is standing who's 7 feet tall, a very tall person. Okay, let's make that just a, a line here. Again, my straight lines are the best. We have 7 feet. And they're 16 feet away. And we want to find what's the length of the shadow at this moment. So we don't know what the shadow length is, okay? But what we can do is create a right triangle going on right there. And I'm connecting it all here. And that light post, right, the light is up here. It's creating that shadow over that person. I'll put him right here. Eh, standing. Doot, doot. Very tall, long torso. All right. And there's creating that shadow, and this is the length we want to find. So I'm going to put some variables out here. We have right triangles going on. I'm going to put it that way. And we know things about similar right triangles. So let's give this length an X, and this is a Y right here. Okay? So what do we know? How can we get a formula out of this that connects everything that we need? Because we want to find that Y value. Okay? Well, right triangles, right? We know that they're similar right triangles. They're proportionate. So if I take the length X plus Y and I put it over the other leg of the right triangle, 20, that should be equal to the length of y, similar side, over the height of 7 feet for that person. And we actually have an equation right here. Okay? Now what else are they giving, uh, given to us? They said the person is walking away from the lamppost at a rate of 5 feet per second. Well, if this is our variable x, then that's dx dt, the rate at which the person is moving, is 5 feet per second. Okay? And we want to find what is the rate, all right, what rate is the length of the person's shadow. So not the length of the person's shadow, the rate. We want to find dy dt here, all right? So the length is that y value with the rate of it with respect to time. We want to find that rate. So that's a tricky part here. We're not trying to find y. If we did, that's just a simple geometry problem. We want to find the rate here, okay? Well, here's my formula, and before I dive in, deriving both sides with, with respect to time, let's simplify this up. Multiply seven, uh, cross multiply here, make it easy for yourself here. And we have seven X plus seven Y equals 20 Y. From there, subtract a seven Y to both sides and seven X equals a 13 Y right there. And it's at this point, I like to deal with this part, okay? Some people will solve and maybe get Y completely by itself, but I don't feel like dealing with that fraction yet. Okay, so it's up to you. I'm going to derive both sides with respect to time. d over dt now times or of 13y. Okay? This actually becomes very simple. Derivative of the constant just comes out front, and the derivative with respect to time of x is just that dx dt. Same thing here. Constant 13 can come out front, and the derivative with respect to time of y is just dy dt. Okay? And we want to get dy dt really by itself. Let's plug in what we know. Okay? We know dx dt is 5. So we have 7 times, well, 5 centimeter, uh, feet, not centimeters, feet per second equals 13 dy dt. Divide both sides by 13 here. And what do we have? dy dt is equal to 7 times 5 is that 35 over 13. And the rate is still that feet per second. And notice one thing here. We didn't actually have to find the length of y to solve this. So right now, we're just kind of an interesting moment. We know the rate at which the shadow is increasing at this moment when he's 16 feet away, 
from the light post, but we don't actually know what the shadow length is. And it's kind of a cool thing that we can find without knowing that information. Either way, the rate of the shadows, uh, uh, the shadow is increasing, all right, or yeah, increasing when the, when the person is 16 feet away is 35 over 13 feet per second. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.